Heyo everybody, Haku here with my review of Monster Musume no Iru Nichijo Chapter 41. And this one was Tianisha Descends, I believe, or some, yeah, I think that's it. But I'm um, sorry if I do sound, sound a little stuffed up throughout this review. My, my nose is all stuffed up and stuff, and I don't know, I think I sound all nasally because of it. But um, yeah, sorry, sorry if you can uh, hear that at all. But I was so excited for this one because we finally get the Tianisha chapter of Monfest. And I absolutely freaking love Tianisha. Especially having Pult and Key here as well. Because Pult, Key, and Tianisha, they are three of my favorites overall. And I actually think that sometime within the next month or so, I will do a favorite Monmusu video from the main cast. And then, like, like Mon and the Homestays, just those. And then maybe after um, Chapter 42 comes out, I'll do a favorite Mon Musu from the side characters. Then maybe sometime way down the line, if anybody wants it, I can do an overall favorites. But um, I, I think it'd be cool to split them up and stuff to discuss them. And it's more, not really more of a ranking or a listing, but more of a discussion, I guess. But, uh, man, I got really off track. So, yeah, we finally get a chapter with three of my all-time favorites, Tio, uh, Pult, and Key. And starting off with the cover, the cover looked, it was like a really simple design, like a, I don't want to say minimalist for sure, but um, it was a really simple design, just the picture of um, Tio. But it was so detailed, just the one simple picture was so detailed and looked so nice. Like, seriously, out of all the manga I read, weekly manga, monthly manga, it, like, Okayado's artwork is some of the best. It is some of the most detailed. It looks so good. Like, I'm convinced that this guy could draw anything. He could work on any manga. Like, I don't know if he will ever see any of my videos, but if he ever heard me say one thing about him or his work... He can he can draw. He is an artist. Um, so Okayado, keep up the good work with the art because it is it's really detailed and nice looking. So basically, we start out with um, Kurus is going on a picnic in the woods with um, Tio, and Tio is um, she wanted to be a forest girl, so she dressed up like a forest girl, and that was so cute. Um, that was so cute, and it turns out once they get there. Kurus is tired from his part-time job, so he goes to take a nap on her lap. Odd rhyming aside, um, he almost gets cr his head crushed by her boobs, which again, the ideal way to die. I could not think of a better way to die. It just, there is no better way to die than that. So that was great, but um, he brings up that her aura and the whole time, even though he was about to die, it was peaceful. Her aura and just being around her is so peaceful and calming. So Key and Polt show up looking sexy and they are two characters that I'm kind of disappointed the anime really didn't do them justice. Um, the Key episode was in there. But I just, I don't think it was as good as the manga chapter it was based on. And they completely cut out Pult's chapter, which was one of my favorites. And Pult is probably, like, she's a definite, she's definitely up there as possibly my favorite character in all of Mon Musu. I just, I love Pult. It's a personal favorite. But she, like, she just was not given her proper due in the anime. So, I'm glad to see them here back in the manga because of, of course, sadly, the manga for this one is a lot better than the anime turned out. I think the uh, manga is a lot funnier and does things a lot better. It's a lot more detailed as well, so uh, I prefer it. But, um, gosh, getting distracted once again. But they show up because Ki is starting to wilt a little bit, and Pult is there doing her community service to bring humans and extra species people together, trying to clean up the forest some. And today is just her scouting mission. She isn't really planning to clean up a ton. Now, I gotta say that the scene with Tio comforting Key is the cutest thing that's been in the manga. Maybe the cutest thing I've seen in any manga. That was, that was just so adorable when she sits Key down in her lap like, it's all right, don't act like that. And that was, it was so adorable. It was so cute. Now, Kurus and Polt go to clean, and Kurus tells 
Tio to stay back because he doesn't want her to get her clothes dirty or rip them or anything. And that's, like, so nice. And that's why I am really not a fan of, like, Hera. I'm usually really not a fan of Harem or Echi or anything like that or cheesy anime romance. But I just, I really think that Okayado does it right with Kurus because he isn't a perv. He isn't really caring about how they look. He is a genuine, like, the nicest guy in anime. He is genuinely a really nice person. And he's a really genuine and honest person. And that's, like, legit what really keeps this from just being a mindless fan service thing. That Kurus really holds the story together as a main character. He's not just a bland, faceless main character. He's a take on... He's like a spit take on the, um the bland taste like the bland main character that's done in a way to make him not bland and i really appreciate that writing and think it's really interesting honestly so we have a callback to last chapter and a couple of the previous or at least one of the previous chapters where um they talk about how Polt was supposed to have help today from um Draco and Lilith, but we saw that Draco and Lilith, of course, last chapter were kind of incapacitated in their own way. But um, beyond that, it was a throwback to another chapter because we've seen that the two of them do um, community service under Polt's supervision. So in stereotypical manga fashion, Kurus falls into Tio's cleavage, and um, <laughs> it w they made it funny, though. It was um, nice. And the way that uh, he says, you know, he backs off and he's like, she has such a dangerous aura. I don't know how, but it's dangerous. And then Polt is overcome by the, um, the said dangerous aura because of um, T.O. patting her on the head, saying good girl, just pretty much treating her like a little dog. And of course, that was adorable too. That was so cute. And it just sort of kicked off another thing that was really funny recurring throughout the chapter where um, Key and Pulse were arguing over um, T.O. lap territory. So pretty much uh, Cruz, um continues on uh, cleaning and eventually he gets something too heavy and cuts his hand on it. And T.O. sacrifices her outfit to help him move the heavy stuff. And she ends up pulling out this like big industrial auger and bam, random hot spring. There, that's probably the only thing I can say I don't really like that much about this chapter. Though it does give us some nice fan service, I guess. It, um, it was just random, pointless. The only reason it was there was to get them naked. Um, yeah, there wasn't really any sort of plot significance. And it, it, was, it wasn't like a bleach level ass pull, but it was an ass pull. And basically the only things that happen once the hot spring has been unleashed, revealed, whatever, is that Key is healed by the warmer climate because um, apparently she's more used to a warm climate and the winter and stuff was why she was withering, I guess. Um, pretty much the way they just explain it was just that now spring is coming and the hot spring came and it warmed the area up and now she's warm again and better. Um, I guess that was about it. And after that, of course, we get to see T.O.'s boobs, and that was just throwaway fan service. But it, hey, it was nice. Whatever. Boobs. Whatever. Um, and that would be the, that'd be the end, because it just ends with, um, Kudus passing out from the heat of the hot spring, plus all of the stress of all these naked monster girls. So, um, yeah, that was where it ended. And honestly, even though um, I may not have sounded super positive about this, I did think, because remember, this isn't some deep story. This is a comedy, and it was really funny. I really did enjoy it. I thought it was cute, and I thought it was funny. All the artwork was really detailed and nice looking as well. Um, so really, I can't fault this for much. It was really good in just about every way, as usual. The only thing that... It's really good in every way, but in every way also, it isn't quite as good as the past three have been. Because I think that the episode with the hot, or the chapter with the hospital and Lala was pr maybe one of the deepest story, like, one of the, one of the deepest stories we've gotten in Mon Musu. Like, it was one of the best from a storytelling standpoint that they've done. 
And then the one with Zombina and Shishi is one of the funniest, I think, that we've had in a long time. It was really good comedy and also really cool looking action and like really beautiful artwork. And then, of course, the last chapter with Doppel was just a ton of content, like a ton of stuff happened in the chapter. So while this was great, I don't think it quite lives up to the past three. So because of that, I think I'm going to give it a score that reflects how much I really did enjoy it, though I can't score it higher than three that were objectively better in my opinion. And that's going to be eight big beautiful waifus out of ten. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back whenever 42 comes out in English and I will have a live reaction and review of that. And like I said, I may do some discussions on which Monster Girls are my favorite so you guys can talk about which ones are your favorites. Also, just tell me, I think I'll do one for like the main cast and the side characters. Tell me if you also want me to do one for the game characters, but since there's like over, getting close to over a hundred, I think, um, for the game characters. If I do that, I'll probably only do like a top 10 or like one of my um, top 25s that were in two parts like I did before. I won't do like all of them in a specific order. So that's it. Just um, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you. Like if you liked the video, comment down there. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me if you want to see anything more from Monmusu. If you have any ideas for other Monmusu videos you want. Or uh, just comment down there, tell me your thoughts on the chapter, your thoughts on my thoughts on the chapter. Subscribe for more Mon Musu. I also do gaming with Pokemon and um, discussions and reviews and stuff for One Piece, The Walking Dead, Tower of God, and some more stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, just check out the channel and subscribe if you want. Also follow on Twitter if you want because I will use that to keep you updated whenever anything is pushed back or rescheduled or whenever I post a new video. So I do sincerely thank all of you, and I will see all of you next time.